been it's been a hot minute since I made a video. Uh, I just recently recovered from fever and cold, and mo ang ginama siya serious, mo ang ginama ng COVID, and I wasn't able to make as many videos as I used to do. Simply because my my current environment is just not creatively conducive. But today, I think I could make one. In this video, I'll just talk about the things that caught my interest lately. So that includes the NBA Finals, my current thoughts about the local stock market. Also, I've been dabbling to crypto recently, so let's talk a bit about it. And of course, the notorious Axie Infinity. And a bit of the things that's happening to me recently, so I hope this video won't bore you. First, let's talk about the NBA Playoffs. I guess watching the NBA Playoffs more than the game of basketball itself, it reminds me that, okay, there's really hope now we could have large gatherings or events, especially during the start of the NBA Playoffs where it was the first time to see fans on live games again. On the NBA Finals itself, Sandra Manaling Suns, but not heavily biased, so either Suns or Bucks win. I'll take it. On the local stock market news naman, PSEI, damn it, our current value turnover for a day is just around 4 billion, which is really, really, really low. And akala ko late lang papasok yung mga tao, and then the current uptrend will hold, pero mukhang hindi ganun yung nyere. Mga magko-correct tong PSEI natin, which is fine for me kasi I already sold all my positions. Pero I hope you have your own trading strategy to whatever might happen, and pwedeng mali din naman ako. There are still tradable stocks such as Semerara and CNPF and supposedly madami pa nga dapat mga second liners that are tradable kaya nga lang sobrang laki and sobrang daming nag-correct last, last, last Friday due to the Delta variant news. If you look at yung Ayala Land Logistics and ACL, laki ng konorek nila. So if you're a trader, dapat nag-trim ka na before pa yun nangyari. Pero yun, kung, kung nahit yung cut mo, mag-cut ka na. Uh, but I'm long-term bullish to, to our local stock market since our current pandemic situation is somehow manageable. And pag titignan mo kasi, diba, um, nakakapagtaka nga eh. It's puzzling to me kasi uh, if you look at yung Southeast Asia neighboring countries natin, all, almost all our countries except Philippines and Singapore are having all-time high cases. So, alam mo yung pag tingin mo, parang somehow may ginagawa tayo tama. But that doesn't mean na pwede na tayo maging complacent and pwede na natin i-disregard yung current restrictions and health protocols natin. So, ingat, ingat pa din. Moving on, let's talk crypto and Axie Infinity. So, my main reason why I'm encouraged to try crypto for the very first time is because of the hype of Axie Infinity. So, instead of buying Axies to play the game, I'd rather try to trade AXS and SLB through Binance and take advantage of the hype of Axie, diba? But, my execution was a bit off and slow kasi uh, wala pa ako sa healing Binance account. So, instead of me trading my own account, nag-ask pa sa friend ko para mag-trade para sa akin and that's also slow. And then, naisip ko na uh, mahirap magpa-trade sa ibang tao kasi ang tagal nung process, eh, diba? Namimiss mo yung price. So, instead, I created my own account and then, um, na pinag-aralan ko kung paano pa lo-loadan yung, yung account mo sa Binance cause that's a bit sketchy yung P2P process nila and then getting familiarized dun sa, sa UI ng Binance and getting the feel of the market and due to, and due to that many process medyo na late yung pasok ko and in the process I lost 20 USDT but I think that's fair price to learn yung process ng pag-trade ng crypto. Just a word of caution, when something moves parabolic in value, meaning sobrang bilis ng pagtaas ng value na per day, it would just not be sustainable. So, para ka maglalaro niya ng musical chairs or trip to Jerusalem. When the last person already bought at the top, it would start crashing in value and doon na mag-uunahan magbentahan pa baba yung mga tao. So, always play this game smart. I'm not saying na the, the hype is already over. What I'm just saying is that the hype is never forever. So, sana hindi na masyado bumagsak pa yung value ng SLP and AXS and sana gumanda na din yung server ng Axie. And hopefully, sana lahat talaga kumita sa Axie ng matiwasay. Especially yung mga personal friends ko na natalo sa Dogecoin hype last May. So, hopefully, lahat kumita dito. On a personal note, I think meron namang mga pangyayari na nangyayari sa akin. I was just lazy picking up my camera. And when you look back at those moments that you experienced, how you wish na sana you have taken that photo or you recorded that video. Ano ba ba? Uh, I already got my second dose of my vaccine. If you're curious about the brand, then sign up back. Um, I've already hung out with my friends and we have already eaten outside on a dine-in, which is something that I have never done for more than a year. 
Uh, I've already played basketball for the second time this year, so yun yung maganda. But unfortunately, on the negative side, matagal na, mukhang matatagal na naman yung next time na makapaglaro kami. Kasi pabago-bago yung mga ba- rules ng barangay dito sa amin. My grandfather celebrated his 80th birthday, but I think what struck me the most recently is that One of my dear friends already got married and I'm happy for them as a couple because they've been together since they are in high school and they've overcome quite a few years of LDR relationship so their wedding is like cherry on top of the cake as what they say, diba? Right? But it also reminds me of the reality that my friend is one step closer to my vacation because her now wife works abroad. And it gives me mixed emotions, mostly positive, because of course it gives them better opportunities, greener pasture, and no more LDR for them, de right? But I can't help but think now, whatever time we have right now is already limited, and I have more friends lined up that will undergo the same process, and it feels like one by one your friends leave the country, and it feels like na parang ganito talaga yung process of growing up as a Filipino. Thank you.